Now, Novation Agreements. What's okay. That? I don't know. It's, it's hot. It's trendy. It's, the cool, it's what cool kids are doing. So and the, I just like how somebody explained it to me. It's like, it's nothing new. It's just something the gurus are pushing now because they ran out of things to sell training on. So it was brought to us by uh, owner of one of the, uh, the brokerage that we're a part of. A few of his agents had brought it to his attention. And he told us about it. And I started doing some research because you and I, you know, we're huge on creative real estate, right? That's what yeah. we've built a whole business around is being creative when you're structuring deals, subject twos, doing wraps, you know, owner financing, uh, seller lease backs, whatever needs to get done to get the deal done, to help out the homeowner, to make sure if you are flipping it, you're providing a good product. Creative real estate is, is the backbone of our whole business, right? So when I heard of this, I was like, well, okay, let's check it out, right? The more research I did into Novation Agreement, and please, this is a disclaimer, we have never done a Novation Agreement. Uh, we have no plans anywhere in the near future of doing a Novation Agreement. So this is, this is just research that I've done. Please do your own, consult with your own attorney, you know, all the Jargon that, that I missed. All the disclaimers that go in the bottom. We're not attorneys, accountants, veterinarians. So please consult professional. That being said, every research I was pulling up on Novation Agreement, all the pros came from gurus selling courses on Novation Agreements. You know, and that to me was just one of those things that like sends up a lot of red flags, right? When the strategy that's so cool is only vouched by gurus that have the unique contracts and the special terms that you need to execute this agreement. And I'm like, hmm. And then the people that have brought it to us, uh, as far as like to our attention, they're not known for being the most ethical investors and doing what's right. You know, they're known for doing shady shit. So all these things put me on edge of like saying, man, I don't know if this thing is good, but I don't want to make up my mind yet. So I, I wanted to make sure that I did some good research. So basically, a novation agreement has been around for the longest time. What it, all it is, is there's a purchase and sell agreement already in place. And then you are replacing that original purchase and sell agreement with a new purchase and sell agreement. So that's what a novation is on a very basic, basic term right? The majority of the time, a novation agreement is used on commercial real estate. That's where you see it more often. In residential real estate, it's a very rare occurrence, except if you're one of the students of these gurus. Apparently, <laughs> their students make millions of dollars a year doing novation agreements. Um, but from my understanding, you need power of attorneys. You need to put a lien on the property because the whole premise of, of, a, of this agreement is that you have a seller that you are saying, hey, I'm going to, let's say the seller wants 200 grand for the house and the house is worth 300 grand. This is an example they gave. So, and you, your offer as an investor would have come in at 157. They're like, I'm not gonna take that one, 200 grand. Okay, this is where a novation agreement comes in. So you go into agreement with the homeowner saying that, okay, you're gonna get 200 grand. I'm gonna do the work that I need to do to the property right? To get it to be worth 300. I'll sell it for the 300 and anything between the 200 and 300 is mine. But you never close on the property yourself. You never take title. You never take anything to the property. You, that's why you do a power of attorney and then you're supposed to file a lien for, you know, some gurus are saying you should have a, a set amount that you want to walk away with. So if you say, you know, at 200, I need to put 20,000 in repairs and then I'm, I want 15 grand of profit, right? You need to state that you get your repair money back and the 15 grand of profit. So that's kind of how they explained it, right? 